Welcome back to Chemarchem. Today we are going to explore into the fascinating world of lithium diisopropylamide, which commonly known as LDA. We will not only unravel the preparation and structure, but also explore its versatility through some important applications. So let's dive into the magic of LDA. So first we are going to see LDA preparation and structure. The preparation of LDA is simple and straightforward method. According to this, the reaction between N-butyl lithium and diisopropyl amine under minus 78 degrees Celsius, which generate corresponding lithium diisopropyl amide with N-butyl. The structure of LDA is confirmed by extracrystallography. According to this analysis, LDA can be existed as monomer as well as dimeric form. The solvent molecule, mostly triethyl solvent such as diethyl ether, THF and sometimes HMBA also can be useful. Let's move on the basicity of LDA. LDA is one of the strong and sterically hinted non-nucleophilic base. But how we can say it's a strong base? Let's find out. The PKA scale will be useful to describe the basicity of LDA. Here you see I have tabulated some common bases under their PKA values of conjugate acid. The higher PKA value indicates that the stronger base and weaker acids. The LDA PKA is 35.7. Therefore, it's absolutely one of the strongest base. And now you see the structure of LDA. LDA having two sterically hinted isopropyl group, which makes that it's difficult to approach the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. Therefore, this type of base accounted as non-nucleophilic base. So this can be explained by this example. Let's consider this ester compound. When you treat with sodium ethoxide base, that ethoxide ion can possible to attack the electrophilic carbonyl carbon, which leads to kick off the methoxide ion, which leads to generate this corresponding ethyl ester product. Now think about LDA, which is typically hinted base. Because of these two isopropyl group, which restrict to approach the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. Instead, that can readily take the proton from the alpha position to the carbonyl carbon. Since that proton having that alpha position, slightly acidic nature, therefore LDA is one of the non nucleophilic bases. Due to the strong basic character of this LDA which having the ability to abstract some protons even from the less acidic position. Example less acidic allylic or benzyl position. Next we are moving on the generation of enolate by LDA. This is one of the most important application for LDA but before moving application, we should see some important points regarding the generation of enolate ions. Let's consider this example when you treat the acetone with some common bases like sodium hydroxide or sodium ethoxide which readily generate corresponding enolate ion with only some extent. This enolate ion present at the equilibrium with acetone which may lead to generate some pi products since enolate ion act as a nucleophile and acetone act as a electrophile. The same ketone when you treat with LDA which can completely convert into the enolate form. That means that this particular reaction is irreversible enolate formation takes place. So next we should see thermodynamic versus kinetic enolate. Let's consider this example. So this is unsymmetrical cyclohexanone. So which having left side that alpha hydrogen having two acidic hydrogen the same time the right side 
alpha hydrogen alpha carbon having one hydrogen as well as one methyl group when you use some base that readily takes the proton from sterically hinted side that generate corresponding enolate ion so that enolate is called thermodynamic enolate which one is more substituted one so this one is somewhat stable when compared to the kinetic enolate since this alkene is stabilized by hyperconjugation now you consider when you use some base that takes the proton from less hinted side which readily produce that corresponding enolate ion this enolate ion is called kinetic enolate so this one is less substituted one now we will see some example so sodium hydride is a best example for the generation of thermodynamic enolate since sodium hydride is a small base and this side LDA is a best example for generation of kinetic enolate since LDA is a sterically hinted base so because of steric hindrance it is difficult to take the proton from sterically hinted position therefore LDA will take the proton from less hinted side readily which produce corresponding kinetic enolate and another important point is people mostly use minus 78 degree celsius for generation of kinetic enolate next moving on the generation of enolate ions with the array of carbonyl compounds first it takes the acyclic and symmetrical ketone just now we seen that LDA prefer to take the proton from less hinted side after takes the proton which produce corresponding jet enolate as a major product since E enolate faces the steric class between the methyl as well as isopropyl group. So LDA readily takes the proton from alpha methyl containing ester compound which leads to produce corresponding enolate ion. When alpha methyl carboxylic acid treat with LDA which generate enolate dianion because first LDA takes the proton from carboxylic acid and next and next takes the proton from alpha methyl which leads to generate corresponding enolate dianion. So alpha methyl containing tertiary amides also readily generate corresponding enolate ion when you treat by LDA. So next we moving on applications of LDA the first one is alpha alkylation of enolate. Let's take this example when you use LDA which takes the proton from less hinter side you see this one is a less hinter side when compared to this side to produce corresponding enolate ion then this enolate react with methyl bromide by SN2 phase N to yield the corresponding alkylated ketone as a product. So now you look this example. This is a bicyclic ketone having endo as well as exo phases. The endo phase is sterically crowded than exo phases. Therefore, when you use LDA which takes the proton from exo phase. So here you see in exo phase having deuterium atom. Therefore, when you use LDA that takes the deuterium atom in this particular example which leads to generate corresponding enolate ion which then react with methyl bromide by SN2 fission to yield the corresponding alkylator product. Not only the intermolecular reactions, even intramolecular reaction also promoted by LDA. Just to take this example, so in this ketone, when you use LDA that selectively abstract the proton from less hinter side. Here you see this side is sterically crowded compared to this side. So therefore LDA takes the proton from this side which leads to generate corresponding enolate ion. Once if it generates the enolate ion, now you see this electrons moving towards to this carbon. Then followed by this double bonded electron attacks the bromine attached carbon, which leads to kick off the bromine atom to yield the cyclized ketone as a product. 
Now you think, if you use potassium tertiary butoxide, what would be the product? In continuation of our previous slide, here we'll see some more example. Now you look this example when you use LDA that will take the readily protons from left inter side to generate corresponding unilate ion, which then react with alkyl bromide. Here you see how that will react. So initially this electron moves towards to this carbon atom, then followed by this pi electron attacks this alkene carbon, then followed by this electron migrates towards to this carbon atom and followed by kick off the bromine atom to yield the corresponding allylator product. Just now we seen that LDA can take the proton from less acidic position. Also, now you look this example having carboxylic acid and one benzylic position. Okay, so when you use LDA, first it takes the proton from the carboxylic acid and followed by it takes the proton from that benzylic position which leads to generate corresponding anion which then react with benzyl bromide to yield the corresponding product and followed by acid workup to yield the corresponding alkylated carboxylic acid as a product. So LDA also useful to generate as a unilate ion. Let's take this example. So this is the compound which is derived from cyclohexanone and cyclohexyl amine in the presence of paratolivine sulfonic acid. So in this example, here you see, so in this alpha carbon having two hydrogen and similarly this alpha carbon also having two hydrogen. Therefore, when you use LDA that takes the one of this alpha hydrogen which leads to generate corresponding aza unilate ion. This aza unilate ion, just like our unilate ion, which react with alkyl halide. Here you see this one is a alkylated iodo compound, which quickly react with aza unilate, which generate corresponding alkylated compound, which then acid hydrolysis to yield the corresponding alkylated ketone as a product. So not only ketones, even alpha methyl substituted carboxylic acid also can be alkylated by using LDA. So here you see when you use LDA, which initially takes the proton from carboxylic acid and then followed by takes the proton from alpha uh, carbon carbon having hydrogen which leads to generate corresponding enolate dianion. In this enolate dianion quickly react with methyl bromide and followed by work up with acid to yield the corresponding alkylated carboxylic acid as a product. Next moving on some more application of LDA. So LDA is useful for conjugate addition or Michael reaction. So here you see when you take the cyclohexanone when you treat with LDA under minus 78 degrees Celsius that generate corresponding enolate ion which then react with Michael acceptor. So this one is a Michael acceptor. So now you see how that reaction works. Here you see this electron moves towards to this, this carbon atom then followed by this pi electrons attack this alkene bond and followed by this electron shifted here. This electron moves towards to this oxygen atom which then generate corresponding this type of intermediate then followed by takes the proton from medium which gives the corresponding conjugate addi addition product. So another interesting application of LDA is aldol reaction. So now you take this uh, enolysable ketone when you treat with LDA that will generate corresponding enolate ion which then react with aldehyde now you see this electron comes here, then this electron attacks the carbonyl carbon, then this electron moves towards to the oxygen and followed by that generates some intermediate, then followed by work up with acid, which generate corresponding aldol product. So note here, I have not mentioned any stereochemistry of in this reaction. In our next part of the video, we will see the application of LDA in stereoselective reactions separately. LDA also useful for crossed Claisian uh, reaction. So
so now you see this one as a analyzable ester when you use lda that provide corresponding enolate ion which then react with non enolyzable ester here you see this electron here moves here then this electron attacks the carbonyl carbon then this electron moves towards to the oxygen atom which leads to generate this intermediate then followed by kick off the ethoxide ion which leads to generate corresponding 1,3 dicarbonyl compounds next moving on some more application of LDA so LDA is highly useful for generation of silyl enol ethers now you see this example so this enolysable ketone when you treat with LDA that will generate readily that corresponding enolate ion which then react with trimethyl silyl chloride here you see this O negative charge readily attacks the silicon atom then followed by kick off this chlorine minus which leads to generate corresponding silyl enol ethers so this is just like our enolate which can be opt as a nucleophile so another interesting application of LDA is azelaison reaction now you see this example when you take this ketone and treat with LDA under minus 78 degrees Celsius that generate corresponding enolate ion which then react with chloroacetyl chloride now you see how that react so this O negative charge move towards to this carbon atom then followed by this electron attacks the electrophilic carbonyl carbon then followed by this electron moves towards to the oxygen and followed by comes in then kick off the chlorine atom chlorine minus which leads to generate corresponding azelated product so as we conclude our journey into the preparation and application of LDA, I hope this video has expanded your understanding of this particular reagent. We will see some more application of LDA including application of LDA in stereoselective reactions in our next upcoming video. Stay tuned for more exciting chemistry content. So this is, uh, these are our my references if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more engaging content until next time bye bye